Hi, Washoe families. I'm here with my third grader and my fourth grader. We were hoping to show you guys how you can use a device and get online to get some extra math practice. And so let's start off. What we're going to do first is we're going to actually go to the Washoe site. You ready? Mm -hmm. So here we are. We're on the Washoe County School District site. And then Abby's going to look for the Students and Parents tab. And then she finds under E, Envision Mathematics. Now all of our second, third, fourth, and fifth graders in the entire school district have this account. Even if they never used it at school, they have it. And so right here on the big blue sign-in bar underneath it is a reminder for how to log in. And this is important because it's a little different than the way they logged in at school. Since we're not on a district machine, we have to have this Washoe and the backslash with their student ID number. You can find their student ID number in IC if you don't have it, or you can ask their classroom teacher. The password is unique. Every student set their own. It stays with them. So it's a good, it's a good thing to know. If they don't remember what it was, they, again, I would ask your teacher or ask your school's computer teacher for help with that. Okay, so if you click on sign in, it'll take you to the page where I ask you to sign in. And while Ab does that, I'm going to show, here's the page she's looking at. It looks like that when you sign in. That's where you put the Washoe backslash student ID number and their password. And it brings you to this page. And this is, uh, every student has their unique online account. And so from here, we can click either over here where it says their grade level material or the Pearson Realize. Right now I'm going to use this one right here and it takes us to your student's homepage. So they have browse, classes, and grades. If they did any assignments at school, they would see their grades here. At school, if they used it, this is probably where they mostly went because this is where their assignments show up. Um, for right now, we're actually going to look under the browse tab because what we find here is we find all of the topics and they have their titles which is a really good place to get an idea of the content for that topic. So you can look for, what do I want more practice with? I can use these titles to help me. And when I click on one of those, it takes me to all the lessons in that topic. So here I am in topic five, here's all the lessons. And then if I click on an individual lesson, it gives me several parts of the lesson and your students saw a lot of these in class because these are what the teachers use as well. So we're really looking at, um, just gonna look at two of them today because they're the most helpful for parents and students at home. And so the first one is up here where it says Students Edition e-text. And so the e-text is, it's this. And so if you've seen the, maybe you haven't seen the whole book, maybe you've seen some pages or maybe the books come back and forth, but it's, what, it's their practice book that they use. Uh, ours are stuck at school, so that's why we're looking for them online today. And so if we click on the e-text, Let's see, do you already have it up? Yeah. It brings you to exactly what's inside that booklet. And so it doesn't always bring you right to homework and practice. You can use these back and next to scroll the pages here. And we found the homework and practice page here. Um, also, I'm gonna go back to the lesson le level. Let's see, where was I? Here? In the lesson level, if you go down to the very bottom of every lesson, every lesson has this video right here, it's called Another Look. The Another Look video shows the content from that lesson and shows what students need to do to be successful that lesson and breaks it down. They're usually about two to three minutes, so they're not too long. Those are great. Parents, guardians, students can watch those together, get an idea for what they need to be successful. It brings up a video. It's Hello. usually somebody talking mixed in with some work on a blackboard or a whiteboard. Okay, one other thing, way you can get to another look video is when you're on the homework and practice page, there is an app called Bounce Pages, which looks like this, it has the teardrops there, blue and red, and when you bring out the Bounce Pages app, what it does is it just, I'm going to tap it, and then it scans a homework page. There you go. And when it scans the page, what it does is it brings up these choices right here. I can watch the Another Look video in English or I can watch it in Spanish. Um, and if your school doesn't have the Spanish version of the Envision, then that's the only way to get to the Spanish Another Look video. So that's an important one there. That's the Bounce Pages app. One more thing. So Ryan's over here. He's also he's working on the iPad. He logged in the same way. Um, he's on a slightly different version, which I can show you how to get to that. You see, so here is his home page, right? Mm -hmm. And then we used the classes tab, which brings you to this page here. And so these are his assignments he had left over from school. 
but over here on the right we have some choices. This is the same student workbook we were just looking at. Um, there's also this choice right here, it's the active ebook. And when you go to the active ebook, it's the same exact pages, but it gives you these tools on the side here where you can use a pen, eraser, a stamp, and then you can write right on the page. So if you have a touch screen, that's fun for some of the kids because they don't have to use the paper. You know, they like to write on the screen. Okay, so that is how you get to the practice materials online and the Another Look videos, some great resources while we're doing the distance learning. Have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below and we'll do the best we can to help you.